Three years ago today, on September 8th, 2020, The Athletic broke the news that NASCAR was going to reconfigure the two-mile oval at Fontana into a half-mile short track that looked like Martinsville but had the high banks of Bristol Motor Speedway. And since that announcement, all that's happened is NASCAR continues to push back the timeline of this reconfiguration like it's a Marvel movie. They've sold off majority of the property, and everyone is kind of left wondering what the future of Fontana is and if NASCAR is ever going to actually do anything with that property. And unfortunately, I don't think they're going to. Back in February, NASCAR, through their track holdings company, ISC, sold 433 acres of that Fontana property to Ross Perot Jr. and his Hillwood Properties company out of Dallas, Texas. Related to Ross Perot, if you couldn't put those two together, for $559 million, and their plan is to build an industrial warehouse park on the property. NASCAR retained 90 acres to do this reconfiguration into a short track. They also have the rights to 106 acres for parking at those various warehouses and open areas that will be in the area surrounding the track. So a lot of money being spent, and it seemed like NASCAR was moving along with this project, right? Like they're selling off the property, which everybody knew about. The, the value of the land in Fontana is just worth too much to have this two-mile oval sitting there with the auxiliary parking lots and area sitting around it. And we all love Fontana, but NASCAR made a business decision, right? So they sell it off for a large amount of money, and since then, it's gone silent. So what's, what's going on? Well, we don't actually know what's happening because in the three years since The Athletic broke this story and NASCAR has talked openly about it, nothing's really happened. No plans have been submitted to the local government. No meetings have happened. No public input has happened. There's been no discussions about it any further other than like, the public seeing those Suedo blueprints that were put out calling it Next Gen California because NASCAR at that time period was super obsessed with calling everything Next Gen instead of the Gen 7 car is the Next Gen car. Instead of the new Fontana Short Track, it was Next Gen California, which would have looked absolutely absurd if they had put it up on like a billboard in front of the track uh, and that's what they actually called the facility. Don't do that. So since that time period, they still haven't put out an RFP or request for proposal. They don't have any construction companies lined up as far as what the public knows to make the changes that are needed to turn this track from a two mile oval into a half mile short track. Obviously NASCAR planned on using the pit buildings that were already there. The front stretch was going to be the front stretch of this new short track. They're going to use pit road that existed as the back stretch. And then the front stretch grandstands were just going to be cut off essentially and that's where the corners were going to be right there connecting the end of pit road to the front stretch and the front you know you you understand how this is going to work and nothing has happened the track remains vacant uh three years later obviously we just had a race back in february there and since that time period nothing has happened no warehouse has been built nothing's been torn down yet and it's just kind of sitting there like Kentucky, minus all of the F-150s and the Rusty Wallace driving experience that will spend its days running around that facility. So nothing's changed, but will anything ever actually change? When this project was first pushed back, NASCAR blamed the supply chain issues that resulted from the pandemic, which was legitimate, right? It was hard to get steel, it was hard to get employed, people weren't working, you know, depending on who you talk to, and it was just hard to get material. Completely understand that, and for the most part, materials were at an all-time high. So it didn't make a ton of sense to spend du maybe double the money that you would have, and if you wanted to wait. So this project was initially supposed to start after the 2021 race at Fontana, and then it was going to be completed in time for the 2022 race at Fontana. Obviously, that did not happen because just back in February of 2023, NASCAR raced on the two-mile oval for what they called the last time. And NASCAR continued to want a race at Fontana for the last time. They wanted to show the fans Fontana one more time on the two mile oval, which is commendable, right? But it just felt like they were delaying the inevitable of this actually being the last race at Fontana. And since that supply chain issue, that's been corrected, right? We're in 2023 now, the end of 2023, Nobody's complaining about supply chain issues anymore. That crutch that companies and people were holding on to, that's gone because everything is readily available for the most part. And now NASCAR has gone back to their drawing board of excuses, which leads us to what they said back at The Clash in the LA Coliseum in February. So this year at The Clash, 
Back in February, Steve O'Donnell, NASCAR CEO, said that, quote, NASCAR is evaluating the market as a whole and what's the best place for us to race within the totality of 2024 and beyond. So I'll be completely honest with you, that is right out of the BS corporate generator for we're never going to actually do that reconfiguration. And I think it's pretty obvious at this point that Fontana, as we knew it, as a racetrack, is gone. It's never coming back. It is death by warehouse, essentially. And that's fine, but just come out and say that. Instead, NASCAR has continued to lead fans on, saying that, like, oh yeah, we're continuing to explore the possibility of this project, this and that, never happening, right? Let's be completely honest here. Fontana is is gone and NASCAR now needs to find a spot in Southern California for them to race at. Whether that's in the LA Coliseum as a points race, don't think anybody wants to see that. Whether that's a street race somewhere in Southern California or they go to like a Kern County or something like that, which is just not up to par with what the Cup Series is looking for. Not 100% sure, but Fontana is gone. So one thing that we do know for sure, Ross Perot and his company, Ross Perot Jr. rather, and his company will be building warehouses on the property. That's going to happen. That whole area right there is an industrial park. Fontana will make way to its now warehouse overlords. So shout out to overstock.com and Amazon, PetSmart. I don't actually know if those are people that are going to be in there, but they just seem to have a lot of warehouses. Maybe they'll build a five below warehouse and put the five below in one million font down the side of it like they tend to love to do that you've seen on the highway before regardless we'll always miss fontana the I, it got a bad rap for a long time it fans hated it back in the mid 2000s because it took that labor day weekend date away from darlington and the southern 500 as nascar wanted to grow the sport outside of the southeast obviously they've made their way back to darlington now on labor day but Fontana did give us some good racing, especially later in its life when that surface started to wear out. Just absolutely eight tires. Legacy Motor Club posted this picture of Eric Jones's car at the end of this year's race. And it just looks absolutely beat, just chewed apart that entire wrap. Um, and we're going to miss it, right? It was a fun time. The NASCAR races there over the last five years even have been absolute bangers just some of the best racing you've ever seen i say five years i meant five races because obviously we didn't race there for a few years that 2015 indycar race at fontana absolute legendary race if you haven't watched it go back and watch it it's just insane it's absolute insanity so we'll miss you fontana it was a fun time but i'll be honest i don't think we're ever going to see nascar racing there on the two mile oval the short track any form of racetrack because fontana is gone so like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram, Twitter, and Threads at Break Hard Blog.